citizens of the Reject Nation, it is the time for the boys. I am so excited. This is the first show to do a shared universe to scale. This is post-Gen V, and it's time to dive into one of, I think, the best adaptations of comics in cinema. We're going to be watching episodes one, two, and three of The Boys, all of them premiered. We will be talking about each episode after, but we're really going to be diving into the juice at the end of episode three. So expect a lot of videos coming out today. Hit that subscription bell so you know when two drops, when three drops, when inevitably four drops next week. Just hit it for fun. Leave a comment below. Let me know which member of The Boys is your favorite. Let me know which adaptation from the comic you like most. If you'd like to watch this entirety, head on over to Patreon where you can watch this beginning to end with all of our resting watching faces for all of the aghast horrors to come. And you can also check out exclusive watch alongs with Greg and John where they watch things only for patrons over there. And speaking of appreciating very much, the prepper team is essential. Without them, we are nothing. Without further ado, let's watch season four, episode one of The Boys. I didn't bring you guys in, which I apologize for, but uh, I also <laughs> but I will how justify <laughs> <laughs> why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> a perfect, yes, <laughs> yes. Silhouetted perfectly. Let's go, wow. VP. Amazing. So looking forward to seeing how her and Homelander work together. The tension is going to be insane. The stakes we've built to. So stay tuned. I feel like we're going to be back very soon with some very good news. Thank you and God bless America. Yes. <laughs> Give me a <code. laughs> Oh, the boys are becoming full-on spies. Damn! Man that's in the a van. quality mustache. He shaved. Motherfucking Gruyere puffs? What am I supposed to do with these? She says you've been working too hard. You need to eat more. You pull this off, I promise. I'll grab all these motherfuckers. He's <laughs> unrecognizable. He's <laughs> very different looking man. Give me one more second. Sorry. I wonder if he's still clean. Connectors in here. I can't see shit. Starlight. <laughs> Showing off. <laughs> oh, for sure, both. Because she's one of the boys now. Yeah. This immediately feels like more of the comics with her playing on that team. Where the f*** is Butcher? Oh. Die. Yeah, those yeah. drugs. Oh, don't you start. I'm fine. Shock you did. Who is Who he's hallucinating? I ain't said a word. <laughs> getting a little bit of that black noir you see in cartoons. Yeah, it doesn't bode well. I wonder if they know he's dying. Okay. Nice. <laughs> We're here to commit a bit of our treason. <laughs> I'm on staff. Let me handle this. Dude, I love this spy music. Oh, yeah. The plan is you wait here, cover our exit, won't? Oh, boy. Watch your door. Kamiko, if Butcher steps one foot in that elevator, break his arm. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Obstruction from door. <laughs> uh, that's just you. an obstruction, Butcher. It's your arc this season. Our new president. Man. President Homelander, I love you. <laughs> he's in timeout. He's <laughs> going to the urinal. <laughs> oh, he's in the... <laughs> wow, that teaser trailer shot was from this. That's so funny. That's a great point. <gasps> oh. A gray hair. Uh, he's aging. Uh, you are mortal. Uh, Great way to explain why Anthony Starr is getting older. <laughs> <laughs> A visual of insecurity. Let's do this. There's a lot of people in there. So? A kiddo. Would you be scared of a bunch of cockroaches? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, baby chicks or whatever. Look, the, the point <laughs> is you have nothing to be nervous about. They're only humans and... Toys for, for our, our amusement. <laughs> yep. God, I, I wish Homelander was my dad. He's a good father figure. <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, we got a problem. I feel like Butcher's going to do something really bad. Yep, it's going to escalate quickly. Do not engage with Homeland. That means you, Butcher. You copy? Oh, no. So you look beautiful this evening, especially you. Oh, what are her powers now? I heard that this hotel makes its own ice cream. Why don't you take Ryan and try and find some, huh? What a great idea. Go for it, sport. Does nobody come back pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> it would be a powerful child. I've supported every new administration for the past 16 years. I don't want your support. You're on trial for 
fucking murder. <laughs> <laughs> One, that's a formality. Two, that's a clear-cut case of self-defense. Thug threw a projectile on my son. Oh, yeah. Thug. It's a pointed word. When I took that monster down, people applauded. Your shareholders didn't. Well, that's why you and me are going to prove to them that even with a soft on crime <laughs> and lived hard for a president, oh, they did business as usual. Oh, he's full Republican. Yeah, he's lost his mind. And that. <laughs> <laughs> His forced evil smile. Let's give her a round. Huh? New history, boy. Girls get it done in yeah. the White House. Ooh. Yeah. Girls get it done. <laughs> Good call back home, Melinda. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad news, bears. Don't. Can't Here's a minute, would you love? You're the man now, Ryan. Listen, Ryan, I've got a lot to say. I can get you out of here. What are you talking about? But you know how dangerous Homelander is. He's my dad. Right, he, he murdered some poor sod right in front of your eyes. It, that guy was a pedophile. <laughs> oh, wow. Let me take you to Grace, all right? And, and, and then you don't got to see me no more. This poor kid, man. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. Let's go back and die. It's what your mum would want. No. Oh, hoo -hoo. This isn't the Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Don't worry. Nothing bad's gonna happen, right? First episode. Yeah. Look at that big black mask curdling around your brain. Oh, you can see it. What do you got, six months? It's too bad. We're not gonna have that last dance together. Make the boy care. Don't miss us. <laughs> Bloody hell. You wait to your own voice, don't you? Every That's day. That's a spirit champ. <laughs> Son. Oh, what a shot. To extend this show out, they're going to have every season take place over a week. Yes. <laughs> season nine is only a month from this. I do not want to miss Smash Mouth. I did not expect this already, episode one. And a Smash Mouth needle drop right after. <laughs> Perf. Dude, everyone's got new new looks. Frenchie's haircut's great. I'm actually really jealous of Frenchie's. The my drops, boy. What are you doing in here? Apologies, Ms. Newman. We're with your mother's detail. What's Zoe? What's her powers? The power's gonna come out. The, 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 the power's gonna do something powerful. Why don't you wait outside? She's got mind reading. Oh! No, that's not mind reading. Oh, <laughs> it's not mind reading. <laughs> the, uh, that's a nightmare. She's one of those wow. vampires from Blade okay. 2. <laughs> we see nothing. Come on. That horror movie dress now makes so much sense. Yeah, right. It's like oh. made for this moment. She looks like Orphan. <laughs> she does. Blade Orphan. Oh, God. She is tearing that arm apart. Ah! Esther, no. She's oh. taking it. Rip it off? I think she did. Oh, it's gone. Oh, my God. Gotta regrow it. Regrow it, the female. Ah, she's got it. Did she swallow There's it? There's a window at the south end of the hallway. Oh, this is bad. Oh, real bad. All right, so he's up. Right. Ah! Tiny hand. hand. Tiny hand. <laughs> Oh, she is determined. She's a full-on, like, creature. Whoa. Cool. Trinity. Matri yeah. Yeah. Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> very Trinity. It's very, it's very Matrix Reloaded, yeah. Wow. This is... <laughs> uh, yes, she can't yes, reach because yes, of the yes, 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 <laughs> She missed. Yes. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh boy oh boy it's a great thing she got oh, her powers man back. i mean even surviving that though what oh. a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh. let's see it don't cower away boys you've seen worse yeah. gloved face though boy Oof. We go now? <laughs> hey huey Oh my god. Gotta teach Butcher the meaning of the word covert. It just got made by a 12 year old. You mean Zoe? You just murdered two guys? <laughs> you shot your own daughter up with V? How could you do that to her? I needed to keep her safe. Yeah. You turned her into a fing monster like you. I'm sorry, that sounds like the pod calling the kettle a teleporting dude with his d out. <laughs> <laughs> We're like family. I mean, 
Was everything just bullshit? It's all bullshit. And out of the blackout, you remember? You brought every bodega snack you could carry for Zoe. You played Uno with her for hours until the lights came back on. And I thought, you were one of my closest friends. Wow. I mean, hell, you're dating a suit. If anyone would understand, it'd be you, right? Don't try. Don't try. I was scared. Scared you'd have to pop my head. I was scared to lose you. Which would be popping your head. Yes. <laughs> I always cared about you, Huey. That part was real. Hey, Vicky. Don't do it. Oh, boy. Wasting no time. Seriously? I have to be on TV in like 10 minutes, you an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the press, tell them you blew up Congress. I, st I still got the Red River files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen war games? What am I saying? Look at you. Of course you've seen fucking war games. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen war games. I hurt you. You out me. You out me. I killed everyone you've ever loved. The only thing that makes sense is a truce. God. Or plan B. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I was like, you guys are actually getting worse at your job. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize she was impenetrable. Yeah, I didn't think she was this invincible. She could totally take on Homelander then. Yeah, that's just up the stakes, but also changes the dynamic between them two. Yeah, I thought, I thought like, all she could do is blow people's heads up. I didn't think she was like this powerful. She could totally take on Homelander. Like acid and bullets to the head, yeah. kind of a showing of strength. What no, no card. Two agents from my detail are dead. We had to tell their families they snorted fentanyl-laced cocaine at the after party. Our Jeez. intel told us that acid would work on them. She's no idiot. She'll know I was behind it. Oh, he's trying to do the right thing. Yeah, didn't expect that. What about Starlight? She goes by Annie. Can Annie burn out Newman's f***ing eyes, debilitate her? If she can get close enough to her without getting her head popped off, who knows? We might have to accept the possibility that Newman's invulnerable. So we all didn't know the scale of her power set. Yeah. I can only keep my distance from her for so long. Eliminating her is top priority. So do your fucking job. And put a bomb in her butt. <laughs> That's true. Right. Okay. So he he's only working because he knows that if he's nominated, she'll take him out so she can become president. Yeah, it's an inevitability. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So he's not that good or altruistic. <laughs> Billy Butch. <gasps> Jeffrey Dean. Joe Kessler. Say 11 years, but officially speaking, none of that shit show ever happened. And how come I remember you? I know him. Rimming out the general's wife. Oh, I'm so excited. And what are you focused on? Homelander. As always. He killed that poor yes. cunt in broad daylight, and they fucking cheered. I mean, what do you think that taught them, eh? That we're making America great. Again. Again. We're whistling our way towards a fucking apocalypse, and Grace's eye ain't on the ball. But you had a clean shot at him, right? With Soldier Boy. You didn't take it. Damn, he's informed. Why do I get the feeling we ain't just bump into each other? Because you yeah. remember the Panchir Valley? You dragged me out of there and dropped how many bodies to do it without giving it a second f thought. And yet you still didn't name your son after me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we need someone like you, Billy, before the soup start rounding us up and dumping us off in camps. The soup in the high tower. Jeffrey D. Morgan reteams with Cryptkeep to prevent another apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> this time it's superheroes. Janine, she got into a fight at school. Is she Team Homelander? Principal didn't say why, <laughs> just that she KO'd a boy. KO'd? She's been slamming doors, Marvin. She told me to eat a dick. Oh. <laughs> She's been having a hard time since Todd moved out. You mean since you kicked them out? Uh, let's dial down the glee <laughs> in your voice, but yes. <laughs> no Todd this season? Who am I going to identify with? Who's our highlight without Todd? <laughs> Todd got so deep into all that weird home teamer shit. He's not answering my calls. I don't know where he is. Okay, so. And you're good at finding people. Oh, come on. Oh, we're going to have Todd. Bring him back. Did he also, like, drop a bunch of weight? Yeah. yeah. Laz lost weight. It's definitely a plot point. He's, he's <laughs> been top yeah. for, for, for months and months. That's yeah. never man. <laughs> you are simply bad, bro. Your destiny. Homelander needs to think about his entire life before he slays. Whoa, what was that final shot? I think that was new. All the secrets. Is this Don't body always hairy? Whoa. I don't know if we've seen it. <laughs> we saw him make it in, in one season. <laughs> Sir, so I'm afraid we <laughs> are behind on the tower reconstruction, but I can 100% assure you that it is not my fault. Ashley, it's okay. Thought and Homelander aren't above the law. They Look can't right just do whatever they want. Oh, Dude, man. We gotta talk about the octopus in the room. Your ex-Cassandra. <laughs> there were 
no relations with an octopus. Just a racist rumor and <laughs> a ridiculous lie perpetuated by a jilted and uh, emotionally unstable hysterical woman. <laughs> Pooped in my bed. Deep. Wow. <laughs> Pooped in my bed. <laughs> oh. oh, they threw in the Amber Heard. Justice for Timothy. Though. Sir, after that debacle at Godolkin. Who is that? Yeah, who's Noir? Godolkin. If we're going purely on socials, I might suggest Talon out of Redlands. <laughs> She's a butterface. Her body's on point, but her face. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> my, my man. Ooh, not that rag. <laughs> hey. Is that a ball? Dog nut. No, it's uh, Zach from uh, Black Sails. Sister Sage. Hell no. She was with me in Teenage Kicks for like barely a year before they canned her ass. What's her power? Uh, She's the world's smartest person. She's not smart enough to know when to shut her mouth. You would want the world's smartest person or two. Surrounded by sycophants and f***ing imbeciles. It's just that you make a lot of really great points, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't take criticism well. Hey, train. What? <laughs> Go over there, pull out A train's f***ing report. What? Yeah. How, just how scared are you? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody do something. Somebody have a spine. You won't have a spine if he doesn't listen. Wow. He has complete <laughs> control over everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, God. he's done it with an octopus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is. She's been writing slash fic about this. It's just a spectrum, right, bro? Get off your <laughs> No diddy. <laughs> Not one of you has the stomach to challenge anything I say. I have got to carry this entire f***ing company on my shoulders. You're right? Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, please don't kill Ashley. Does she make... Okay, I was going to say, does she make it to the episode? I love Ashley. I was going to do it. <laughs> Sure, but Homelander faces his toughest opponent yet. <laughs> Our corrupt legal system. <laughs> Smash that donate button, get free tote. Roland Keating attacked <laughs> Homelander's oh, son. <laughs> they spawned that. <laughs> he attacked yeah. Homelander son. This creep had photos of his quote unquote niece naked in the bathtub. He's an Antifa who f around and found out. And an eye for an eye might be in the juice section of the Bible, but it is still in the Bible. Wow. The juice section wow. Of the Bible. Wow. <laughs> Yeah! Papa. More peg. No! Charlie fell or quoi? Six months of war, c'est merde. Oh. It's a shit. I totally agree with whatever you said. No one wants Newman gone more than me. Yeah, we may never get another shot like that ever again. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Recycling bin, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to go in there, man. He blew our cover with Newman. Mm -hmm. He almost got you killed again. Uh huh. We should cut him loose. We're not cutting him loose. Cut him loose. We're not cutting him loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't blockbuster bot video. Polarity, poor guy. Well, it's a fine time to f***ing will bring that up, isn't it? Oh, he is losing it. Everyone comes here to hallucinate. Okay. I do my best work at blockbuster. Who's he hallucinating to, though? What do you want? Well, I was thinking that uh, you and I could scratch each other's backs. Like when you shot me in the head. <laughs> I need a hand to get Brian away from my lamp. Boy needs a father. That cut ain't no father. And you are. Either. What? <clears throat> oh, he's you listening, listening to. Is it his brother or father he's listening to? Who about, would be interesting about as well. to ask, yeah. He is grabbing your ankles while he shoves it up your ass. I think I can handle myself. Oh, you mean that nasty little virus they cooking up at Godolkin? Uh huh. And I know it ain't strong enough to kill Homelander. And then there's the hard place. The full weight of the CIA and my boys working 24 7 to top you. You need me. Whoa, everyone's on the inside. If I was even gonna think about this, I'd want a show of good faith. The material Huey has on me from the Red River Group home. Oh, that's too much. I know it stop them from going to the press. Mm, stops them from printing it. Wild conspiracy theory from a disgruntled former staffer. Those are my terms. The only leverage they had left. But then again, like this, the airplane tape, like it didn't really do much. But there is a liability. I just logged in five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, you gotta hit keep me logged in. <laughs> I love that the CIA would have that. 
Turn the VPN off. Try it again. Oh no. Father's dying. <laughs> what? What did they do? Daddy. <laughs> oh boy. Homelander's verdict will 1,000% be innocent, and I'm not showing up to even dignify that shit. Honey, I'm happy to organize a protest and, and make the speech. Star Lighthouse. And I'm not Starlight. Well, neither am I. And tell that to her. <laughs> yeah. You are kind of the face of a thing. Colin is annoying as hell, but he has saved my ass more than a few times over the past few months. He's a champ. No, je te prie. You know I can tell this even from our first meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Anonymous meetings. Right there in the name. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so he is clean. Okay. It's how we're supposed to get Question action. answered. I should not have brought up our meetings. It's okay. Love my boss and I'm an ex turnkey. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, did they not kiss yet? I thought they were already hooking up. Yeah, I had assumed. <laughs> <laughs> the tension was there. Just maybe not at work. Maybe shouldn't have uh, recovering addicts hooking up together. No, it's part of the recovery process. They're it's one of the each steps. other accountable. Step seven? Seven, 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 seven. Aww. Oh, he's storm front. Does he keep them? Totems. Oh, S silver member. What is what is what is this? Yeah, recruit sister Sage. Uh oh, uh oh. Most intelligent sentient being. I am almost never surprised. <laughs> May I come in? He's got the Marvel disguise. I don't recall ever seeing him in a different outfit. It is an odd sensation. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird. like uncomfortable with it. He's either naked or in his outfit. <laughs> never seen you without the suit. My incognito. You know, I would have thought the smartest woman on earth would have a nicer place. Smartest person. That person's too smart to give a fuck about Pottery Barn. Yep. <laughs> sister. What's the function of aesthetic? <laughs> You're so smart. Show me. Show me. Give me your brain. Based on your public appearances, your stylist is dyeing your hair more often. It used to be every month. Now it's every 2.4 weeks. Did she cool. tell you you're going gray or is she hiding? Ooh. And your enlarged prostate. Yeah. You've been yeah. washing them more often, so likely you've been peeing more often. Which may you do age. There's that small matter. Your own father almost killed you. <laughs> <laughs> you're going through some existential midlife. Whatever. Always. Pretty ballsy for someone whose power is a party <laughs> trick. You are welcome to laser me. Yeah. <laughs> He's already been outsmarted by just being there. He hates it. I need advice. <laughs> <laughs> someone on my level. Of course, you breathe a word of this. Pull you apart bit by bit. <laughs> I've spent my life scaling the peak of, of Vought. It's all I ever wanted. And, and then now that I have it. You're still not happy. I save people, they cheer. I can kill people. It's it's meaningless. He has you no validation. Self love, man. Humans are nothing. They're they're less than nothing. He's going to therapy session with the smartest person on earth. Tell me how you'd go about it, hypothetically. <laughs> well, it's mass annihilation. Greece. All democracies fail because people are fucking stupid. You don't need an army of supermen like Nazi Bay wanted. So German. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. If you crush the masses, who builds your monuments? Who tongues your taint? Oh. <laughs> well, the people will tear it apart themselves. Just gotta nudge them a little. Then you get to swoop in, be the one saving it. Whoa. Cool. Like Caesar. Like Caesar. How often do you think of the Roman Empire? Ah, uh, he's gotta make America great again. This does feel like a very election themed <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah. There's been a lot of very direct, not subplots. I'd like you to join the seven. No fucking way. Plus, I'm a black woman who is a thousand times smarter than you. Your ego can't handle it. Yep. I'm pretty smart myself. See what I mean? Smart enough to listen. I mean, really listen to you. You can stay here, reeking of Taco Bell and loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> or we can put some of your theories into practice on a global scale. It's the last time you got a chance like that. Oh, it's like if Superman and Lex Luthor teamed up. Yeah. <laughs> they both wanted what they just wanted. <laughs> yeah. My dad, he, uh, he had a stroke. Is he... Uh... I, I don't know. He, he called me right before it happened, and um, I didn't pick up. There's got to be more to that. I mean, maybe I could have seen it coming. I could have... I no, 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 Huey. 
Don't beat yourself up about it. There's nothing you could have done. Or wants us to chat about some James Patterson book that he's reading, and I couldn't even give him that. And now they're saying that even if he lives, he won't be able to read James Patterson anymore. Only. <laughs> I hope the old man pulls through. Emotionally available butcher is fascinating. Oh, it's his younger brother. Huey? Hey. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got here as soon as I could. I think Carl Urban looks skinny. <laughs> Oh, Zempic, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> dropped the weight this season. <laughs> BBL Butcher. Yeah, in that year between. So what does the CIA think of you wasting their vast resources all to hunt down the phone of Todd? I didn't ask. Only Karen Fukuhara looks the same. You're right. <laughs> Not the whole cast. <laughs> Marvel body's getting buffed. The boy's body will be getting skinny. <laughs> Just leaning out. <laughs> oh, no, oh. dude. I'm cool. I'm cool. Oh, cute. Colin's gonna die within the episode. Maybe, maybe next episode. <laughs> no, Frenchie gets oh. a musical number about Colin first. <laughs> but Todd time, guys. Todd, we got Todd. a Todd. We got a Todd. Todd must be picking some serious heat between his legs. <laughs> Seriously, Frenchie, you did not have to come. Okay, I'm only saying the man has some serious Pete Davidson energy over there. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see his. We're gonna see it before the show's done. Oh, uh, oh. damn it! What are you doing here? Homelander's <laughs> tired of being surrounded by morons. Hello, everyone. Yo, Homelander. Let's throw it. <laughs> Don't get wait. I heard that you are some of my biggest fans, supporting me when others turn their backs. I just wanted to personally say thank you for your devotion and your sacrifice. Okay. Well, really, it's you who gives so much to... You people are more than just fans. You're <laughs> martyrs oh. to the greatest oh. cause on Earth. Open it. Open it. Open it. This will be good. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Excellent deduction. <laughs> To take these bats <gasps> and beat these gentlemen to death. They're about to be literal martyrs. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> oh, it's like one of your tests. You want us to say no. <laughs> no. Deep. This is not a test. Removing your no privileges. It's good blackmail material. I think maybe we should go. Oh, oh yeah. Mars. Mm -hmm. oh. Cause. Oh. <laughs> Owie. No, Todd. Whoa. Stay here. Still got a little Wait bit of that conscience. The episode, we get Negan. We get bats. Yes. <laughs> Three of them. Kripke. 300% bats. Yo, what the? That was so f***ed up, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive live footage of Homelander arriving at the courthouse just now. The verdict will be read any moment, so stay with us. 34 counts. 34 counts. He's been <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roughly 34. For Stormy Daniels. <laughs> the fact that this was ready to air, like, right. Yeah. Jurors are seated. Any second. Jurors would be too scared. Yeah, who are his peers? Ah, uh, she's infiltrating the Starlight side. Yo, I like this Sage character a lot. Not yeah. guilty! Oh, and that's how we see it through everyone's phone binging. You fascist! There you go. Way to smart. Yep, Way to start the it. So destroyed. <laughs> smart. smart. I like how non plus she is. And it was Starlight's side that started it. Smart. Fight like a girl. I really like this Sage character a lot. Someone that's literally just so smart to manipulate. Oh, Colin, oh no, on, Colin, no. we've been worried. Oh, jeez. That punch in there. No, Colin. Oh, the headbutt. No, it's me. It's me. As junkies, can they inhale that smoke? <laughs> They're relapsing. I'm okay. Kiss him. I'm okay. I'm okay. 
Yeah. No. Oh, and how natural. Pride Month! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bodies to be discovered. Who is Black Noir? Right. I feel, I feel like they're gonna reveal like some celebrity cameo. Whenever. Oh boy, it's Michael B. Jordan under there, or Black Noir will be a white guy. <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> Everyone remain calm. We're all very special people. Okay, stop. <laughs> Do a really loud whistle. <laughs> no, don't listen. Starlight will be the savior. Cool, she comes flying in. <laughs> Smooth landing. Now get some electrolytes quick. It wasn't bad wire work. Please go home. We can fight, but not like this. Get off. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Whoa. And there's the oh, bodies. Aw, damn it. Of course. Gotta respect it's the <laughs> game. <laughs> it's diabolical. <laughs> yeah, there she is. <laughs> She looks familiar, man. But that moment of national healing was cut tragically <laughs> short. Violent attacks by Starlight oh. supporters left three innocent patriots dead. In a row, right there. What's wrong? It's nothing. We have to share everything with each other. Do everything together until we almost merge into one. That's, uh, it's not parenting. I don't want Butcher to die. <laughs> But even after he abandoned you like that and all those things he said about you, he said awful, awful things about you. So he deserves to die. My mom loved him. Well, what about you? Do you love him? Ryan, you're ruining a great day. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be our victory celebration. You have every right to be upset. I'm upset for you. Is it the octopus? <laughs> Everyone there loves you for you. <laughs> As the sweet, sensitive, really strong swimmer you are. Look at me. Baby. My man's got a type. <laughs> He's got a little figurine of himself with her. We could just be Kevin and Ambrosius. Ambrosius. Need wrapping around. Who's, whose voice is this? Don't pull away. Don't pull away. Oh, corrupt. What was his degree? Maybe doesn't feel worthy of his normalcy? Hey, so I just finished reading Deadly Cross. <laughs> I mean, how does Patterson do it? <laughs> you know, so anyway, lots to talk about. Uh, give me a call. I'll love you some. Oh, that's very sweet. Get better, and I will talk to you for hours about Deadly Cross. I really hope you can hear me. For what it's worth, I think oh. he can. Mom? Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, I was shit. literally just thinking he lost both his parents. You promised me you would take care of Ryan. Oh, okay. Of course. What do you think I'm trying to do here? I think you're about I to think. go over Huey. I had a clean shot at Homelander. Game set in f***ing match, but I chose to save him. Be the man that I married. She's like his conscience. That man died a long time ago. It's too late. I'm out of time. She's the good in you. Don't do the deal. Deal's off. Ugh. Subject collateral. Of course. Of course. Of course. Well, I hope you're happy now. Oh, that was good. Whose butthole? Is oh, that? man. I'd like to think Carl Urban wanted it enough that he was willing. <laughs> Oh, man, that was funny. Uh, I like that they eased us back in with some shocking, very grounded nudity. Yes. From Victoria's shadow to his shadow. Oh, and then the, 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 yeah. the vein. The vein. Yeah. yeah. Back to God Save the Queen. Oh, Phil Sericia. All right, that was episode one of the three-episode premiere. We'll talk at length at the end of episode three, but I do want to dive into some of the episode one thoughts uh, this was insane. How was it coming back, guys? It was awesome. You know, three and a half out of five. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. It's great. <laughs> um, it's 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 fun to be back because like it's been a long time, or it feels like it's been a long time since season three. Gen V aside, but uh, yeah, th this just being immersed back into the world is such a joy, even though it's so kind of 
soul wrenching. <laughs> Uh, I'll admit it definitely was disorienting at first how long it's been. I don't remember like you know if the strike delayed things or what caused. It feels like a longer time between seasons three and four than two and three. Um, but I think the volume of what happened in season one through three is also part of that. The show is so cumulative. It builds on intrigue. It builds on character arcs. It builds on stakes. And now that we're to the point where it's literally people getting shot in the head in the opening to show how powerful they are, it is you know apparent that we've built to this like season one was very much what if superheroes were messed up and in the world and now it's the political aspects on top of the power structure on top of like the geopolitical maneuvering all the things you were talking about admiring and you know in the game itself but that's all very our world today in 2024 so seeing it mirrored when we're this invested in these characters is really interesting for me yeah I mean, I rewatched season three before going into this, so a lot of that's still pretty fresh in my mind. And to feel like this is like the sequel season directly to that is a pretty cool jumping off point. I was kind of, for for just coming off of rewatch for part three, I was found it like jarring, especially look at Mother's Milk. <laughs> like, wow, he sure. looks so different because we avoided the trailers for this. And to see just how slim down he is, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not part of me. He's like, does he have a condition that I don't know about? <laughs> that I, I saw last like a year ago at a con, and he looked like he did season three. Because it's like, it can't just be the beard that went down. Like, he actually I think looks, he lost like 20 pounds, yeah, or he, maybe more. He looks like he really leaned out a lot. And uh, and so like David Goggins. seeing him in this position, I, I find really fun. And because he's taking more of the leadership side of, mm-hmm. of the team of the boys, while... I feel like some stuff with Butcher, I'm a tad worried about it getting a little bit repetitive. With from season three. From like, yeah, just how everything's sort of been with Butcher. I mean, every season's a start of we got to take down Homeland, you yeah, know? Yeah. And then Butcher, uh, like, that's why I was like, if Butcher foiled the plans and gave the plans to Victoria, I would have been... That was a nice misstep. I would have been annoyed, because I'm like, come on, man. We just went through this, like, whole ordeal. <laughs> like, yeah. th- let's not just, like, create drama for drama's sake. So I, I appreciate them tempting that, but them not actually going through with that was the right call. But again, it's, it's just setting the stage. And I love what they're doing with Sage. Sage in particular, I find to be one of the most compelling elements because if you can't beat Homelander via through strength, the way you can beat him is via through intelligence, perhaps. And, but to not do that via intelligence, but do it th- not do it via through versing, but through teaming up is even more scary mm-hmm. and daunting because you got to go bigger. And there's always this talk and this potential foreshadowing of scorched earth that they keep mm-hmm. doing in this show. And instead of it being like Homelander just becoming like, you know, the the BVS bat, uh, Superman version where he's just like ruling the world and like annihilating people left and right. He's like, have it crumble from within. Right. I think is so smart. And uh, so that's why I was saying, like, respect the game, because like this is such a it's like to do this with your superheroes and to have it mirror what is obviously our, our political landscape today to go off of. It's it's weird because. You know, we had our situation where Trump was president for a few years, and, we, and it seems like that it's done some of its commentary, the boys had through that, and now it looks like Trump, you know, he's, he's running for president again, and he very well could be president again, and just watching the way the world continues to, you know, zigzag around in the, via the political landscape, and to see where the show's going with this, I'm like, oh, wow, this, it, this is the first time boys has seemed like scary to me in a real world way. Before, it's always oh. been in this, like, fantastical sense still. Yeah. But, like, this is the first time we're watching it, especially when they're all, like, having the riots. Like, damn, this is actually, like, playing on a real-life fear right it now. It feels more present. Yeah. Like, I feel like other like seasons... reached ground level. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I feel like the show has caught up to our reality, not it's reflecting four years ago when it was reflecting the prior presidency. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now it feels like it's this is one month ago yeah and it's like this show seems like it's gonna 100 percent be a more political show and less mm-hmm. a com it's evolved from a commentary on superhero mediums to and that. capitalism and, yeah. and high concept uh budgets because i feel yeah. like amazon doing a show about vaude is obviously vaude knows what it is yeah so i feel like there's less of the commentary on like insane billionaires and more of a commentary on political intrigue yeah they've had they've had a lot of different they, they pretty much talk about everything every season, but they yeah, usually course. find something they're mainly focusing on. Yeah. And I feel like, again, this season will do all that, but they're setting the stage for it. But this is going to be our most politically driven one. I agree with that. Yeah. And, and I think that this season um, is set up. What, what I said at the beginning about like uh, the stakes escalating because you compound interest. I also think it's interesting because the characters feel the most like they do in the comic here, but the show has never really tried to mirror the comic. In the comic, they get, you know, compound V in the beginning and they have powers the whole time. Like the the comic, there's always that 
violence that is almost an equal level. And it wasn't until season three that Compound V was even introduced as Jess Butcher and Huey. Mm -hmm. So the show has always done a really good job being like a companion piece, which I think is its strength. I, I don't think you should just directly adapt the boys because it's fun to have two very different things. This feels really interesting because Mother's Milk is very much the leader of the boys at times. And uh, the, the way they're playing with Frenchie feels a lot more like the mini little side missions you'd have like a very Frenchie centric arc the way the the female is so powerful again and I feel like that's going to be used as a, like a weaponized thing yeah. that all feels like like the comics but the comics were never as political as I feel like the show's going to go mm. so I feel like at the same time it's, it's feeling like the characters are ripped right out of the page but they're going to be told in a story that I've never seen in the boys the boys has always been political but this season like you said feels like it's going to be today yeah and I, I love it because of, be because the way how the, viol <laughs> the way how the violence was going was <laughs> yeah to do it during election year is fun and the way the violence was increasing but again but keeping it very careful character driven where Homelander is trying to be a dad but keeping Ryan nuanced where he is divided like I, I actually don't want Butcher to die and seeing what kind of ego arises out of Homelander the character of Sage I find very fun and even like Homelander saying like I know how to listen to you but really he's just like I know how to use you still yeah and this know? is how you can use me yeah and like this is the benefit for you i'm smart enough to know how to leverage that yeah and she's talking about like being a black woman and the hardships and the the optics that that's going to come with and, and he, he just laughs like, it off he's like i know how to use you still <laughs> yeah. you know like i can still use you behind the scenes Him scoffing ways. at that and then still doing it but yeah but too but like the the level of brilliance she has where she just looks down on humanity because they both look down on humanity in their own ways like he is so strong and capable that they're ants to him, humanity. And she is so hyper intelligent. But they're snails to her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I bet that's all like, wow, the good, team up of them metaphor. is freaking <laughs> brilliant. I yeah. love it. I freaking love it. And that makes yeah. him so much scarier. Yeah. Uh, but also, she might be the one to be able to take him out because she can exactly. run circles around him. Because we kept thinking like Victoria Newman might be the one, but I'm like, I don't know. I mean, might be this new sister you, Sage. You would definitely need Victoria to probably team up with the boys at this point. Yeah. Like, to take them both down if they're teaming up. And to yeah. have some sort of power structure balance. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing that, that, that struck me as perhaps most interesting about the start of this season is is your you expressed a sort of wariness that butcher might get repetitive and i was sort of like i wonder if homelander is going to get repetitive and i feel like this is a great choice to at least for right now for the arc of this season prevent that from happening because i love that thread of i need someone to challenge me i need somebody who's not just going to be a sycophant and offer me nothing new i need you know to uh, you know, you recognize the worth in friction and the worth in the second pair of eyes and things like that. And I feel like, yeah, there's so much terror that can be wrought with their union, but also, yeah, like this spells out a really intriguing question for me across the rest of the season as to where her allegiances are going to go, where her morality is going to go right now. She's certainly, you know, again, I feel like biting that hook of put your ideas to work on the global scale. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, what kind of conscience is she going to have and or develop? Does she even have uh, a perspective that is going to foster a conscience or does she just know too much that even that is sort of rote and arbitrary at this point? And so many times intelligent people are just so removed because they're like, there's no point in investing in this. <laughs> and there's no, like, I mean, the why more you learn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's like, a tendency toward nihilism, certainly, the more you learn. Uh, and I want to say my favorite element of the show, and I just remembered I wanted to point it out specifically this episode really deals with a fun way to have the eye line be confusing for you as an audience member because we've got a lot of loss in this episode. There's, you know, uh, what Huey's going through with his father. There's what uh, Butcher's going through with his son. There's what, you know, Annie's going through with her identity as well as like what her name is becoming. There's all that loss. And that's hard as a viewer to identify with because it feels so raw and emotional and real. But then the character that I think is the most relatable while being the most evil is the one that's going through the I can't feel anything what's wrong with me and that's Homelander and I love that there were moments <laughs> where he's describing I don't know how to feel anything because I'm bored of accomplishing this I've, achie I've achieved this ambition the only character that's actually accomplished their goals <laughs> is Homelander and that's kind of throwing us into this feeling of like oh, I know what it's like to check that box and have it feel like nothing. And then adding yeah. the stakes of the superhero element of like the sycophants and the followers and all these things. You identify by the third act with him looking maliciously and insanely around a room. And I love how scary that feels as an audience member going like, I don't like relating to that at all. Uh -huh. So I, I well, was really impressed with all of the characters feeling like they got arcs that I identified with. Yeah, well, and it's a, a fascinating tension. I feel like more than ever, at least at, at this point as of this episode, it feels like you really feel 
the clash between action and optics and optics as action. Yeah. <laughs> and there's so much in both and even like, what what can I use my persona for? Homelander out of his costume. Like there's so many visual mm. and also thematic elements that play into both those things, which makes me real excited because there's been so much obviously like clandestine action, whereas here it almost feels like so much has to happen in the open because people are calling bluffs and leverage we have learned is not often as leverageable as you think it is uh and that's gonna be fun to dive into because that's the world we live in right now especially you know and i'm glad we got eight hours with it because there's so many places it can go and i honestly genuinely don't know where this season's gonna go yeah. which is exciting so uh i think we should get into episode two because if you're watching this day one all three dropped so we're gonna be diving right into episode two hit that notification bell so you know when episode two drops leave a comment below let me know let us know what your favorite arc is so far which character are you excited about to see where they go this season what was your big whoa moment the boys is known for it's like insane then there were i mean at this pilot as ever or this episode one as ever is full of those moments uh please share like hit all the buttons on youtube we'll see you episode two in a minute gabriel, gabriel. gabriel. this month we are shouting out our patrons and we are instantly exclaiming which celebrity they remind us of the most mm. now when i think of you gabriel there's really only one celebrity that comes to mind oh. Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane. You know why? Because he's a goddamn atheist. Yes, <laughs> that's right. He is. He's an atheist. Oh, good call. And he's constantly talking about yes. being an atheist. And he's constantly. It was, it was a thing for a long time. Oh, he's an atheist. Like it was like he was like the poster boy for atheism mm -hmm. and celebrity culture for some reason. He took it over <laughs> from Trey Parker and Matt Stone and Gabriel or Penn and Teller. Gabriel is our proud atheist at this Patreon. Yeah, yeah, totally. So if there's any celebrity you are most like, it is easily Seth MacFarlane. The most godless celebrity. The most godless, irreverent yeah. patron that you could possibly ask for. Let's face it, you don't have God in your life. No. You don't have any boundaries. And you probably you make a lot of Jesus standards. jokes. You just make fun of everyone else's beliefs because you, no. you have this smug have superiority any. over them. Wish you You're did. Just like, oh my God! All Greg and John do is make Angel Gabriel jokes, yeah. and you get not mad, for me offended. I'm offended by, nothing. by the suggestion but you of angels. You know what, man? You got people like Seth MacFarlane leading the wave. Yeah, people who are mainly world. behind the camera in a booth for a good reason. You know, but sometimes they're in front of the camera, sometimes elevated by other people tunes. around them. You know? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you're doing your Frank Sinatra act, and that's just as that's just as atheism. Good, man. So Gabriel, you keep on not believing in God, and hey, when when you die, um, I can't wait for. You I hope to, nothing that, happens. No, nothing happened at all. That's I hope you the end of it right then and there. And and uh, you know maybe become fertilizer. Just know that there are souls, and, and you're just not welcome. Yeah, you cease to become nothing. Yeah. Our Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thunder buddy. 